Skill 7, Pulse and Respiration. For this one, you're going to need yourself a good watch. Knock on the door and greet the patient. Tell the patient what you're going to be doing today and what your name is and all that. That way they don't have any little unexpected surprises. Patients don't like that. Okay? You're going to provide for privacy like so. Okay? And then you're going to tell them you're going to go wash your hands. And you're actually going to go wash your hands. Okay? And you're going to put on gloves for this one. Alright? So you're going to come back with your gloves and your washed hands, okay, and you're going to check to make sure the patient is who they say they are, okay? Now you're going to find the radial pulse. Find the radial pulse with two fingers, okay? You're going to find it, and now you're going to start counting how many pulses there are in one minute. That's 60 seconds, okay? Figure that out, okay? Now you're going to find the respiration. That's one rise and fall of the chest is one respiration. Tell the patient you're still going to be doing pulses. That way they don't breathe differently. Count for a minute and count the respirations. The average adult has 12 to 20 respirations in a minute. Now you're completed with that. Tell the patient you're going to go wash your hands and do so and come back. After your hands are washed, give them the call button and tell them if they need anything, call you. Raise the head of bed to whichever way they prefer. Unprovide for privacy, and you're done. That's skill seven. Thank you for watching, and please leave us feedback about our videos. Thanks.